Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Niara Alexis and today, like the title says, I'll be sharing with you some of my favorite products for relaxed hair. So I did a video like this a long time ago. I wanna say it was like early last year sometime. Um, but I want to do like an updated one. I feel like some of these products might be similar. Some of them might have changed. Um, but for the most part, I feel like my lips are getting crusty. Sorry. That was just <laughs> the bad segue into that. Low key, look. I wasn't believing the hype before on this road lip treatment. But then they sent me this one. Um, this is their peptide lip tint. This is limited edition, so you can't get this one. But... I would definitely go try the other ones that they have out that you can get. I'm, I'm getting the hype now. Some of these products you've seen me mention here before. Now, I know there are some products in here that you guys are probably going to be like, why didn't you include that? These products are specific for relaxed hair, okay? There are other products like my Hask Tea Tree shampoo that I share with y'all all the time that I always, always mention. I don't have it included here because I feel like that works for anybody. But these are things that I think specifically people with relaxed hair, like this is gonna work so, so well for you. Not saying that that shampoo won't, it will. But I feel like these products like for relaxed hair from what I've learned and everything, like caring for my hair myself, like, for the relaxed hair realm, this is the goods. Is that making sense? I feel like I'm talking in circles, but let's just get into it. So um, first, let's just go with these two things here. I have some claw clips here. This one actually is so cute. Can y'all see? I bedazzled it myself. I need to do the other side, but it's so cute. I actually made a bunch of bedazzled hair clips for my coworkers at work and they really like them. Um, claw clips. I am including these. These aren't specifically a hair product. It's more of like a hair accessory because for relaxed hair, your hair is very, very prone to breakage. So you need to lay off of all the ponytails, all the buns. I've gotten a lot of questions before asking like, would you recommend me putting my relaxed hair like in a bun and leaving it like that for a, a week or whatever? Absolutely not. What you do with natural hair, you cannot do with relaxed hair. Your natural hair is much stronger and able to withstand being in a bun like that for a week, two weeks at a time. Your relaxed hair is going to snap off and break. Don't do that. But a claw clip is a good alternative because you're not tying like a stretchy elastic around your hair. You're just like pulling your hair up and bending it in a way. I do have a video that I did on... I want to say I put it on shorts, but I definitely put it on TikTok and Instagram as well. I'll link it down below for you. It might show up here on the side for you guys of like three easy ways you can use claw clips. So check that out if you're having issues with them. But claw clips are going to be your best friends as a relaxed girl, as a relaxed girl, if I can talk, um, because they're very low manipulation. Let's move into some treatments because I feel like that's really like the most important part. So I have first the Pantene Rescue Shots. Y'all have heard me talk about this all the time. It works great for any hair type, but I feel like specifically for relaxed hair, if you are looking for a non, or what am I trying to say? If you're looking for an inexpensive treatment, that's what I mean, um, that you can find like literally anywhere, these are it. You get like three or four in a box. It depends. Some, their packaging has changed, um, but you get like three or four in a box depending on where you get them and like whatever, which model you because i feel like as time went on they changed it and you got four now it used to be just three but now you get four anyways this is gonna be it you're gonna use this whole thing as your conditioner and oh and use it like every other time you do your hair so one time you wash your hair use this the next time use another conditioner that's what i recommend and like my silk press guide which you guys if you haven't checked it out you need to i'll link it down below it's ten dollars it has so much information in there and it's literally step by step. I go into so much detail in that guide. Videos you've never seen before. Anyway, shameless plug. This is such a good treatment. It's so inexpensive, but it's going to keep your hair in a healthy-ish state because we know that since we've relaxed our hair, we've already damaged it to a certain extent. So it's never going to be like fully healthy again while it's relaxed, but we can help keep it up. The next one, we have the K18 leave-in treatment. So different than the um, Pantene Pro-V one, this one is gonna be your leave-in and your conditioner. But I posted something on TikTok about this not too long ago and uh, you guys were all in an uproar. Well, not y'all, but some people were in an uproar. We're like, um, you can use conditioner after this, after you've left this in your hair for four minutes. 
I don't know, I've never tried it. I go the route of shampoo and I use this as conditioner and my leave-in and I go straight into my blow dry and my hair turns out flawless. This is like a treatment though I would not recommend you using all the time. Again, because you have relaxed hair, your hair is very susceptible to breakage and damage and you can very much so like overload your hair with too many treatments if you're using them too often. So with this one, I would maybe use it like once a month or so. And then this next treatment is kind of like a full system. This is the Olaplex system. So we have bond number three, or why do I keep calling it bond? Oh, cause it says bond maintenance. So we have number three, um, and then we have the bond maintenance shampoo and conditioner. So these kind of all go together. Now, what you're gonna do here, if you haven't seen my video using this system before, a lot of people confuse how to use this and they'll use it at the end. They'll do like shampoo, conditioner, and then they'll put this in at the end and use it as like a leave-in. That's not how you use it. You damp your hair and put this in first, leave it in for a little bit, then you wash your hair and condition your hair and then you put your leave-in and whatnot. Um, Olaplex actually sent me this and this was my first time this year using this whole line and I would say I was very very impressed. From what I hear the amount of product I use from the number three is way too much so if you saw my video next time I use it I will use less. I heard y'all loud and clear but you don't need a lot of the number three apparently um, but it's like a hair perfector is what it's called but it's going to repair and strengthen your hair so you'll notice like a common theme with like these treatments and everything that i mentioned just here you want to be putting back into your hair as much as you can because you've already taken so much out of it during the relaxer process in general so you're always going to be like constant upkeep constantly trying to make sure your hair is like infused with moisture and has strength and you're repairing in a sense, the damage that you've done. So for another treatment, this is like a very, very old school classic to me. This is Jamaican black castor oil. So what I do with my hair oiling, this is my routine. The night before I wash my hair, I will douse my hair with this oil and I put it all over my scalp, massage it in, and I get it in on my ends really good. And then I'll put my hair back in like a low bun with like a silky scrunchie. That's mostly like the only time you'll see me like wearing a ponytail like willingly. And the next day I go and I wash my hair out. Now I've gotten questions before from people about like what benefit does it have if you're washing the oil out because you're letting that oil sick in or sick sit in and marinate into your scalp into your ends it's basically you're just infusing that moisture into your scalp and your ends myself personally my scalp gets really dry in the fall and winter so the more i do this the less i have like dandruff and dry scalp and all that stuff your ends are like the oldest part of your hair so they don't hold moisture as well as like your hair up at your scalp does so leaving some moisture in overnight and just like letting it marinate it's like a long like deep conditioning treatment almost like you just like let in the oil marinate now when I tell you I first started using this when I lived in New York and this was like a while ago and I started using it when I was wearing my hair in twists my hair got so thick like literally after like a month or two of me putting this on my scalp weekly with my twists in my hair it got so 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 thick so a lot of people ask me too about like the thickness of my hair how do i get it to stay like full and thick with a relaxer i can only attribute it to jamaican black castor oil and also genetics like because i just have naturally very thick hair that's why my mom relaxed it in the first place let's do like some leave-in type of things so first i have tph by taraji ride or die leave-in conditioner i also have the way leave-in conditioner now these both work very similarly to me but if you are relaxed and you used to be natural or you wear your hair like and natural like hairstyles like maybe you do flexi rod twists and stuff like that when you're trying to wear your hair straight you need to put away the heavy leave-ins you got to put them away because those products are much heavier than others and they're gonna weigh your hair down the other thing i like about these two is they both have a spray and i'm seeing that more and more frequently like a lot of leave-in conditioners are coming in spray form this helps you people that are heavy-handed okay i used to be one of you i'm not any longer i have been sanctified okay i 
love the spray all you need like literally the way i use like maybe two or three sprays this one i probably do the same like two or three and that's all you need for your whole head don't be sectioning your hair off and put like three or four sprays in one section your hair is going to be sticky feeling it's going to have a grime to it it's not going to have that flow like you want it's also going to coat your hair and it's going to take away a lot of the shine and i know some people think like oh well you want to do that so your hair is protected no you don't no you don't tell you that because if you're already on this train with us if you've already come over to the dark side as i like to call it and you relax your hair girl let it go we're just trying to keep our hair like healthy and full and bouncy looking but let that go let that go stop trying to treat your relaxed hair as if it's natural you relaxed it now now let it flourish Here, like leave-in product i have here this is a kristen s blow dry mist this is a product i just discovered this year i've worked with kristen s a couple of times this year i really love the brand overall i actually have another product here from them their products are very luxe feeling the formulas are great and they're super affordable like you can find them at target you can find them at walmart they're super super affordable so i like that little feeling that we get from them with a good price but this is their blow dry mist now if you are a person that's like i don't care what you say near i'm putting a heat protectant on my head because let me just say i don't not use heat protectant but sometimes i do forget um but sometimes i just try to find products that like are multi-functional right this is a multifunctional product it's gonna help mend your split ends and whatnot if you have any but it also has heat protectant up to 450 degrees if you are looking for a product that is solely just a heat protectant i would go with this one or any other one that's like a spray bottle really really nice why is this piece of hair like just coming from me like that it's trying to make me look like my hair all broke off and stuff it's not did i curl this way i think i curled this piece of my hair forward it's weird another um heat treatment that i really like too is from tresemme i can't remember what it's called but it's like black and it has a red spray bottle and the spray is like that weird one that looks like like windex or something you know what i'm talking about that one is nice too i used to use that one in college oils okay i always get asked like what's a lightweight oil i can use what's a lightweight oil i can use and if you've been here you know what i'm gonna tell you it's the verb ghost oil it'd be helpful if i used, showed you the label <laughs> it's the verb ghost oil this is my favorite oil hands down i was introduced to this product in like 2019 maybe um fun fact i think verb was like if they weren't the first they were one of the first brands i ever worked with i have never run out of one of these i've maybe purchased one of them ever since then verb has gifted them to me so kindly god bless um but i have never run out of these i've only lost them and then just had to go in my backup stash and find another one usually like when i have multiples of them i end up giving them away to y'all but you literally only need like half a pump of this don't be pumping 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 i know how happy y'all get with the pumps stop it now i'm gonna move on to some sprays okay um now one thing i do want to address i don't know how we started talking like specifically about silk presses but i'm just gonna answer it because i feel like i might get this question anyways how often do i apply product in between wash days and yes i wash my hair every week and yes every time i wash it i blow dry and straighten it i'm not walking around here with a lion's mane i'm just not um i don't apply too much product in between i wash my hair usually on saturdays come wednesday it's time for some dry shampoo and that's it and outside of me putting the oil on my hair like the day before i wash it i'm not applying too much more product if i do it'll be some verb ghost oil on my ends if my ends feel dry but for dry shampoo i love this kristen s dry shampoo i've also used dry conditioner as well i've gotten a couple of questions about that they're basically the same thing they work the same but what i will say is with any dry shampoo you need to use it sparingly i know that they have ones that are colored now so you can get them like they're black or dark brown or whatever whatever color your hair is i personally don't like that i like to go for ones that are white so this one leaves a white cast because it stops me from using too much product if i can't see the product i don't know when i'm using too much when i can see that white cast i know i'm using just the right amount when i don't see any white cast on my hair that's when i know I use just the right amount if i see the white on my hair it's way too much but this dry shampoo 
it smells so nice and again like i said kristen s products just always look so nice and luxe like this matte black hi i've also tried the um heritage by mindy um dry conditioner that one smells really good too because not only do you want to like soak up the extra oil which is what a dry shampoo or conditioner is going to do for you but they need to smell good too because it's really like to help revive your style okay um so let's move on to some shine sprays because i always get asked about like weightless shine how do you get your hair to look shiny and whatnot without being super heavy and all that type of stuff um you need to apply like a weightless shine spray but i typically only apply them when my hair is freshly done i don't apply them all throughout the week you could like these two are very very lightweight and you could technically but i don't um so first we have the verb ghost dry oil again check this out i'm telling y'all like the verb ghost line in general is like one of my favorites from them it's first the ghost line and then i think they have like a hydration line that's really nice too but if you want to try any of the verb products i do have a discount code niara15 if you use it on their website or you can buy it on amazon but you won't get a discount so you know you pick your poison and then the next one is the andrew fitzsimmons prism shine like i'm gonna spray a little bit of this because oh i like how this one smells too all my hair products have to smell good i'm sorry unless it's something i'm gonna like wash out never ever 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 weigh my hair down andrew fitzsimmons this was actually sent to me by his brand i really like his brand they also have um deep conditioners and leave-in conditioners and things like that that are really really nice that i've used before that would be great for relaxed hair too i don't know why i didn't bring them out here I'm not going to get them but i'll link them down below for you now lastly we want some hold okay so we have the andrew fitzsimmons touch soft hold hairspray love this hairspray this one also smells really good it doesn't smell like the shine spray though you want a soft hold hairspray so it's gonna like say somewhere in the description where you're looking at it like what type of holds it has if you're looking at hairsprays if you're looking at them in the store and it has like the little droplets the less droplets the better so don't get the one that's like max hold with like eight different droplets or like you know like that you know what i'm trying to say get the one that has like the minimum and this is my og triple og when i tell you this is the first bottle i've ever had of this product so you don't run out of it super quick like i've only ever had one bottle of this paul mitchell yes their products are a little pricey i remember growing up like paul mitchell was like the premier hair brand can I tell y'all a fun fact about how I discovered this? Your girl was actually in a photo shoot for a relaxer box. Um, I was gonna be the perm girl. I was gonna be on the relaxer box. I don't know what happened. I think the company like scrapped the project or whatever. Um, I'm not gonna say who the company is cause maybe like I'll walk into Target one day and see my face on a box. I have no idea. I hope I don't because my hair was like much shorter. Like I wish my hair was like the length it is now my hair was like much shorter and they low-key like when they saw my hair it kind of looked like granny little auntie a little bit it wasn't specifically like my cup of tea they were styling my hair the hairstyles they were super nice though when they were styling my hair though they were showing them pictures of my hair on my instagram and like the director of the shoot they were like no 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 we want her hair to look like this and i was like girl do you need me to break out my flat iron and do it for you because i can and the hairstyles was having a hard time getting it and i was like anyways so yeah, I discovered this product at a photo shoot, my first ever photo shoot. I was like nervous as all get out. Anyways, back to the product. Um, this is their Flexible Style Super Clean Spray. And when they were spraying my hair at the photo shoot, so basically when you're at a photo shoot, they want your hair, like you see how I'm like touching and moving my hair, like that's fine and everything for every day, but at a photo shoot, they want your hair to stay in place. They want every hair to be in place. These flyaways, they gotta go. Like they want every hair in place at all times. They were spraying my hair down with this. And in my mind, I was just like, oh my God, they're using so much hairspray, like, I, my, I'm not gonna have no hair when I leave here because you know with typical hairspray hairspray when it's super hard and crunchy like when you gotta brush it especially relaxed hair it's gonna be brittle and it's gonna snap right off wherever there's a point of weakness your hair is gonna break right off that's why you don't want to get a regular hairspray as a relaxed girl you need a soft hold hairspray I went home I could still run my fingers through my hair like nothing had happened and they have been spraying this on my hair 
all day. Now, I don't recommend you doing that. Like that was for the purposes of the photo shoot. But when I use this, like when I'm done doing my hair, I pin my hair back and I put this hairspray on and it helps hold my curl all week long. So, oh, well, you know what? I was about to say I was done. But I guess we should bring Old Faithful into it, huh? We should bring our flat iron into it. So, as a relaxed girl, nine times out of 10, you are gonna be straightening your hair in some capacity because I find it odd. Now, I need y'all to a show of hands in the comments. Let me know. Are you relaxing your hair and not straightening it? Because like, and this is like no funny business at all. Like, what's the purpose? Why, why do you relax your hair not to straighten it? Because I relax my hair so that I can look like this, like a little black Barbie doll. I'm not understanding so please share down in the comments but for I feel like for most people I know that relax their hair you you straighten it I am throwing my GHD in here because I feel like a lot of times what happens when people have relaxed hair they straighten it and they go overboard with the straightening they are frying their hair off because they crank in the flat iron the curling iron whatever it is up to 400 almost 500 degrees and you've already broken down the bonds of your hair so much you've broken down that hair cuticle and all of that scientific stuff so much you don't need to apply that much heat to get it straight anymore but also if you want it to look like something you can't do that you can't do that take it from somebody who straightens their hair every single week you cannot apply that level of heat to your hair often if at all as a relaxed girl i'm just letting you know you need like enough heat to straighten it but it has to be a very controlled temperature and the reason why i'm bringing this up is because ghd this flat iron this is the platinum plus flat iron it only heats up to 365 degrees now when i first got this flat iron i did not know that i was just straightening my hair with it and i was like wow this works really well now when i would use my other flat iron before this i can't even remember what flat iron i was using before this when i was using my other flat iron i was easily going to like 450 when I was straightening my hair. And my hair didn't look bad by any means, but I could tell a difference after I started using this flat iron on a regular basis, like how much healthier my hair looked and felt. Like even when I would just go to wash it and condition it, my hair felt so much better because I wasn't applying that crazy level of heat. Once I realized that this was only heating up to 365 degrees, I was like, so basically what you're telling me is i've been frying my hair for no reason this whole time i mean i love her she's my favorite i also always try to tell y'all when it's on sale on instagram so if you're not following me on there do that maybe you don't have a flat iron that goes to one heat maybe just like slowly bring it down like if you have 450 bring it down to 425 bring it down to 400 and see like okay where is my threshold where does it stop when it stops getting like the silky look that i want that's all I'm saying. And while I'm talking to y'all about this, I'm thinking in the back of my head because y'all know I have my silk press guide, another shameless plug. Check it out in the description below. But I am for the new year gonna be working on a relaxed hair guide for y'all. Um, it's gonna have product recommendations, but also just like all sorts of tips and everything like that. Very similar to the silk press guide. It's not information that I've never shared before. It's just information that is all in one place now because I don't expect y'all to go and watch every single video on my Instagram, on my TikTok, on my YouTube. You're more than welcome to, but I, that's not realistic. So this guide will have everything encapsulated in one place. I can't tell you exactly when it's coming out because I haven't even started on it yet. We on the bare bones of what's going into it, but it will be coming in 2024. So. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All the products I mentioned here, I'll have them linked down below for you. Do not fret, I will not leave you hanging. But yeah, I wanted to do an updated video about this because I feel like it's been so long since I've done one and there are new products here. There are products that I've used forever. Um, and I just wanted to share them with you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.